Hey everyone, it's gonna be a quick video today. We're doing a solar install. Got the 100 watt Renogy uh, solar kit with the 30 amp uh, PWM Wanderer charge controller. Uh, so this is the solar panel and the kit comes with the mounting brackets, uh, the cables that go down to the charge controller and then the cables that go from the charge controller to the battery and they've already got the ring terminals uh, crimped on and uh, and sealed with heat shrink so I like this kit a lot I've uh, done one of these kits before uh, with with my camper and uh, it uh, goes up pretty easy and just wanted to show you the steps so this is the uh, Renogy 100 watt solar module. And of course on the back you've got your positive and negative. And I'm already starting to put these uh, aluminum mounting brackets on. They include stainless steel hardware. So uh, you got uh, 10 millimeter nuts, 10 millimeter bolts, uh, washers, lock washers, and uh, yeah, they just they go on real easy. So just uh, thread these in, tighten them up, and, uh, and then we'll go up on the roof. Cool thing about these Renogy panels is there's mounting hole locations all around the aluminum framing. So you can, you know, place these feet where, uh, where it works best for you on your camper. And these are the screws that they give you. They've got a little washer on them. Of course, everything gets sealed under the bracket and lap sealant on top of the bracket. So it looks like you get 25 feet uh, each of the uh, cables that go down from the uh, panel uh, connectors, the panel connectors down to the uh, charge controller. And of course, everything's already got the MC4 connectors already uh, mounted on there. And then these, like I stated before, have the ring connectors for the battery. And I think these are 10 feet lengths. All right, so we've got these uh, brackets mounted up. Let's go ahead and head over to the camper and we'll get the uh, PWM charge controller uh, mounted up and connected to the battery. And this is the Wanderer 30 amp uh, pulse width modulation uh, charge controller. It's a four stage controller. All right, so I've mounted the New charge controller inside the battery box here, uh, just below the battery cutoff switch. And um, just mount it in with four screws. And uh, I'll go ahead and get the battery uh, reinstalled and the charge controller uh, hooked up to the battery. And just to clarify, these are eight foot cables, not 10 foot cables that go from the charge controller to the battery. And of course, now's a good time to check your battery levels, um, make sure everything looks good on the inside while you've got it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these connections, um, brush them with a wire brush and uh, throw some deoxid on there. And uh, just confirming that I've got uh, plenty, of, plenty of room uh, between the battery and the new charge controller uh, to get the wires hooked up and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna get these terminals cleaned up and then we'll get the wires hooked up to the charge controller. So you don't want to uh, connect your solar panel to the charge controller without the uh, 
charge controller hooked up to the battery. So always hook up your battery to your charge controller first, and then you can hook up your uh, solar panel to the charge controller last. Verify voltage and everything. All right, so I've got my terminals cleaned off and connected. So I've got my negative going to the charge controller and the positive going to the charge controller. I've also changed the setting on the charge controller um, by pushing this gray button. Uh, you can select uh, your sealed, your gel, flooded, um, or uh, lithium. And uh, the red indicator is flooded. Um, so if you've got a sealed battery, it's green. Uh, orange is gel, red is flooded, and blue is lithium. So I've got that set correctly. Now we can uh, go up on the roof and get the panel mounted and uh, hook up our wires, make sure everything's working properly. So we've got our 30 amp fuse uh, in here on the positive side going to the battery as well. So you wanna make sure that you've got between your charge controller and your battery, uh, you've got your 30 amp fuse or a breaker. All right, so it's important that you terminate your wires that come down from the solar panel before you connect your panel up on the roof. Uh, just, you know, put a couple connectors on there and uh, make sure they're not touching anything. Now we can go hook up the panel up on the roof. All right, so we've got the wires tied in in the refrigerator vent and the screen mounted uh, so no wasps or anything get in there and uh, this is where we're going to mount the panel obviously uh, flipped over i always like to bring the cardboard up here that way i can keep the panel covered keep the voltage out of it um, until everything's all hooked up and ready to go so <clears throat> i'm going to go ahead and flip this panel over get my sealant put on the feet and uh, uh, the mounting brackets, and then uh, get it screwed down, uh, get everything plugged in, and then these wires are all gonna get secured with uh, some Eternabon tape and uh, self-leveling Dicor lap sealant. And of course, I'll go over all the brackets with the Dicor also. All right, so I got the solar panel hooked up to the charge controller, and we've got green light flashing for charge and I checked the voltage before I put the panel on it we were at 12.7 and with the solar panel even though it's late in the afternoon we were at 13.1 so it is charging and everything looks good just need to finish sealing up on the roof and this this part of the job's done I got the refrigerator vent put back on with the new screen screws to hold it in place. Got the uh, wiring taped down with the uh, Turnabon and there's no die core on the uh, brackets yet or around the around the Turnabon yet but uh, I'm gonna hit that next. I just wanted to let this uh, OSI sealant set up a little bit before I went over it with the die core. But that's it, looks good. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.